Welcome back to Andy's Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to sync Trello with Google Sheets. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here in Google Workspace, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Syncing Trello with Google Sheets can help you analyze report or manage Trello data within a spreadsheet. I find it very particularly useful for creating custom dashboards, tracking progress, or generating reports. Of course, there are multiple methods and ways to sync Trello with Google Sheets, and one of the best ways since you are at it here in Trello interface, you might want to go to the section that says Power Ups right here. Click the power ups. This is powered by Unido, right? Now, all I'm going to do is hover to the power ups. And here I want you to type in Google Sheets. There are two ways for you to do it, okay? So one is clicking the Google Sheets plus Trello two way sync. Basically, you can add and sync Trello cards and Google Sheets rows automatically in a real-time two-way integration. All you're going to do is click Add. And what will happen is you would be able to sync all these personal data and compliance with the uh, Trello's data and privacy practices. Click on Add. And what will happen is you would have all these information and data at your disposal. All right. For example, this specific card. Okay, you see, now I want you to go to the Unido, this one right here, and I highly suggest you click that and open on a new tab because when you click this one right here, click on authorize, and of course, just follow the on screen instructions. All right, now you have personal boards and click on allow. Now, once it's connected, click on Got It and click on the Unido. Link our team. Now, I need you to click on Create Flow. Now, inside the dashboard, you can sync in. And that's going to be um, Trello going to Google Sheets. All right. Of course, you can choose a board, for example, um, this one. And of course, go into this specific sheet if you have one, All right? You can create a new Google Sheets if you wanted. Click that. And wait for it to load. Because we wanted to utilize the Google Sheets built-in charting and graphing tools to visualize Trello data, making it easier to understand trends and patterns, all right? All I'm going to do, just wait for it, is install Unido add-on. Now, once you have activated and installed Unido here on Trello, you would be able to sync these platforms and would be able to create and update Google Sheets because, as you can see, we have successfully imported and exported datas or boards or cards here in Google Sheets, all right? Because when you go back to your Trello dashboard, you see, when you go to the ellipsis buttons, you only have an option to print, export, and share, all right? And you don't have an option to export as CSV. You need to upgrade to another plan to do that. But instead, we're going to integrate that to Google Sheets, which, which we did already. Now, the next option that you can use is Zapier. Here, you can connect Google Sheets to Trello and automate your work. And you can have all this endless possibilities. All you're going to do is click on this orange button to connect these apps. And we're going to rename the Zap here. You see, all they're going to do is choose the Google Sheets, all right, and then choose an event. For example, it triggers when a new row is added or modified in a spreadsheet, works best with team drives, or it triggers when you create a new spreadsheet. It's all up to you. But for now, I'm choosing this one. And for the Trello, all right, you might want to choose an event. For example, it adds new or existing checklist to a card 
let's do that and all they're gonna do is click on continue right now click on continue and you need to choose a board for example um you can sync trello with google sheets all right and you can add a list as well if you wanted i'm gonna choose this this one and the checklist name you can choose a value if you want it for example um this or add a search step but this is going to be for the uh, more more advanced tutorial let's go for the default and of course for example you need to complete the step create a new spreadsheet and of course you need to sign in to connect google sheets we'll do that now here the next step is just to continue and of course you can choose a value for example um google drive that's it or you need to if you wanted to make a custom click and continue now we can test the trigger all right because google sheet will allow us for advanced data manipulation and reporting and obviously when we test the trigger by syncing trello data we can create custom reports that provide deeper insights into project progress task completion rates and other key metrics of course you can continue with the selected record and you can utilize google sheets built-in charting and graphing tools to visualize the uh, data making it easier to understand in patterns all right and here again you can set up automated scripts or workflows to sync trello with uh google sheets on a regular basis so it's up to you all right and you need to continue finishing the required fields so that your data is always up to date now last in our list is using make because like zapier you can connect google sheets and trello or we can click on the swap apps wherein we're connecting trello and google sheets all right now for example we're choosing a trigger from trello triggers when a new activity occurs and then select an action here on google sheets for example it adds a conditional format rule creates a new conditional format rule at the given index all right click that all we're gonna do is click this option that get started free all we're gonna do is do this action all right select an action and that's gonna be for trello right as you can see you can create new scenario from this specific template just wait for it to load and then you would be able to do it by going to the right side panel all right and you can click on this button right here the purple one to run the trigger all right once you've done that you would be able to enhance your project management process improve data analysis and reporting so you can streamline collaboration and automation leading to a more effective and efficient project tracking and management thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video